Hi guys, welcome back. Stein here. We're back playing Let's Play Minecraft with Stein. I've been making a, a few adjustments. Um, trying to, you know, this is our area here. Trying to fix our area. So I cleared out a bit of land there, which we're going to build a, a nice little starter house, hopefully. Um, I added a, a small little bridge and a path up to our lookout tower. So I want to take you around quickly and show you what I've done. So here's the bridge. I'm totally not happy with the glowstones, so I'm going to have to change them a little bit. I put some light grey clay on the supports. It's obviously supported on both ends as well. I did a checkerboard pattern of stone brick and smooth stone for the, the floor. Put some walls up so that you can't jump over or fall in. Put some stairs leading all the way up. Sorry, the rest of that's mud. That's, mm, there's a couple there. I just want to change and make it look kind of regular. I want to make everything look purposeful, like we've, it's there for a reason. I added a, a small garden as well as a path leading up to the lookout tower. Put a little gate on. I mean, we can just jump over the hedge, so it's no big deal. I haven't done anything to the inside yet. I don't know if we we went up and had a look just to see the inside of the top layers and just to show you what we did. So I've had some, some ideas about the house that we're going to build. And I don't want to use as much glass as I have in this build. As you can see, I've got glass panes all the way around. So this floor we can completely see 360 degrees all the way around. I've only got the rendering on 10 chunks, so you can see a lot of fog in the background. Can't see very far. But this is the space where the new build's going to go. I figured I'd either build a new house there, Well, I was going to build a, a dock, not a dock, fishing fishing platform, maybe a dock, because there's a lot of water over this side. And if we look on, on the map there, I don't know if we'll be able to see it. But yeah, there's a lot of water in the middle there, so we'll be able to travel quite quickly through there. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to use a horse, but it might be worthwhile if we're going to set anything else up there. Um... We've got these lighting glitches in the corner. Not too sure. They don't look too bad. They kind of look like a feature. I made a little access up onto the roof. I'm glad it's starting to snow up here. I don't know if we can get up on there. Just put a block. So just a cobblestone wall with some torches on. Nothing too grand there. But we've got further room if we want to expand up here. I tore down the roof, I'm sure I told you. It just wasn't happening. Really, I needed to bring the roof out a block or two there and then bring it up into the um, pyramid kind of shape. Or pyramidian, which is the top of the pyramid. So I'm going to grab some supplies, put a chest down, and we'll make a start. I'm building a new house. See you in a second. Hey, welcome back, guys. Always kind of move my microphone and forget that I've moved it. So I've got a few building materials. You see, I've just got hardened clay. I haven't really got many different dye colours at the moment. You know, I've got the regular colours, but I haven't got any green yet. I haven't found the desert to find some cactus. So I might just use hardened clay in place of coloured clay. If I need to. Um, so what my plan was is I'm going to clear up a lot of this area here as well. Flatten this out. I don't want to keep it flat. I do want to give it a little bit of ups and downs. But just for planning out the build, it's, it's much easier to have it flat. I'm going to bring, bring it up a level or two anyway. Um, so I'm not sure what style of house I want to build here. 
Uh, we don't need anything too too big. But as always, I like to start. We've got some smoke blocks. Um, I think I'll go for a. S no, we'll go for a double door. The only problem with the double doors is it either leaves us even or lopsided. Um, we just pop that down there. No. <laughs> I forgot the doors. I'm not sure which materials I'm going to use for what. So we just, for now, we'll see, we'll see how it looks, see what we think. Decide what we want to use. I mean, you know, you'll be like, no, don't make all them stairs if you're not going to use them. But we might use them, and if we don't, there's plenty of never wreck. We can just smelt that into um, never brick. <laughs> okay, so well, maybe we could go for the three there. Let's just use wood as a flat platform for now. So we've got two steps. To um, a landing, I think. So this will be the height of the landing. So I've kind of got an idea of a shape, but not so much of a style. So, oh, so laggy, down to a couple of frames. Mm, back to 19, that's okay. So, just going to bring this across. I mean, not going to leave the stairs like that. I think we could look better if we was to angle these stairs. Ooh. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Maybe we'll come one more step out of the bottom. And that's how we can fix that look. Yeah, that's better. We'll do the same here. And as I said, um, block types hasn't been decided just yet. Mm. Okay, cool. And then I wasn't sure whether I wanted to put never brick fence. fell off or whether I want to put just a regular regular fence oh, we used a lot of um, stone walls cobblestone walls um, in my as a fail in my builds already so I don't really want to use uh, too much of that so I don't know which one I'm liking three just put this one on this side for a minute, it's not going to connect over. So, normally, uh, what do we want there? Two, two walking spaces or three walking spaces? Because this is going to be the inside uh, ground floor level. So we can fill that into three anyway. As I said, these are just uh, temporary blocks. Very temporary at the moment. So then a roof would be above that block. And already I've run out of... Already running out of blocks. Maybe I should have picked dirt or something. So what I wanted to do, I don't think that's going to actually give us enough space. I mean, I want uh, that kind of look around the edge. Oop. Wow, I don't know how to chop down a fence. Okay. So, you know, as, <coughs> as you go 
into the property and build. That's, that's fine, but I would like it. No, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. So, as I said, depending on what materials we use for the outside, it will depend whether we use the never brick fence to do this or the normal wooden fences to do this. And then on top of that, I want to have uh, maybe one block out. Let's get some more, some more oak wood. I'm probably going to use a lot, so we we just get it all out. Let's make a few steps. We've got steps. We've got steps. We haven't got the right kind of steps, of course, but. some so we're gonna have the roof hanging over overhanging I don't know whether we're gonna have any real shape to this roof but if we have it right we might be able to have a too thick floor which would make life easier if we wanted to to run some redstone in there uh, mm. I should have made some stairs. Have we got any cobblestone stairs or something? I mean, this will look. Can I see any stairs? 32 dark oak. Okie dokie. This is probably going to look hideous. But I just wanted to give you guys the basic shape of what I'm thinking about. Which colours I want to use. Really, I should use dirt. <coughs> I've got a load of dirt. Let me go and grab a pile of dirt for our scaffolding. Okay. So I could use uh, slabs. In a lot of this build. Then that will flatten flatten out at that level, I would imagine. I'm still on uh, UHC mode, so I don't want to take full damage. No deaths. No deaths. Not yet. I haven't really done anything dangerous yet, so um, there we go. That will be the entrance. But I think in terms of one, two, three, that's a nice amount of space out here. I can probably fit some little chairs or something to sit on there. So then the doors would, of course, um, we're centre one door. I really, really want to use uh, clay, but whenever I use it, it kind of doesn't look right. I'm too used to using wood and stone. Not wood and stone, of course. Wood and stone. So then, yeah, so that's the basic shape of the build. How many blocks back does that need to come? Let's just fill a bit of this in so we can see how we're doing for height. I mean, the watchtower, we had a lot of blocks in between the floors. We don't really need so much. Was there another block above there? Yep. So then from from the inside here, I'm going to line some windows so that they'll look through as well on both sides. I will make this so that we've got odd amounts. But this is going to be our floor level. What an ugly build. <laughs> it's a mishmash of all different kind of blocks. I mean, obviously, you'd never have... Uh, let's try something, actually. 
I'm thinking either white stained clay and cobble might look nice. Uh, there's some bone meal in the chest. So we've got some clay, we've got cobble, let's take them stairs and them. And some glass. Oop, come on, stop failing at jumping. I'm fed up of living in a dirt hole. I want an actual proper bedroom and a proper bed. So I'm going to try first of all. Um, just want to see what it would look like as a wall, really. We've got cobblestone. Ah. I don't know whether I said before, but I've got Efo's bow. Power 5 Infinity 1. Um, I can't remember whether it was Power 3 Infinity 1, and then I fished out um, another Power 4 bow and a Power 3 book, I think, or the other way around. And I combined them together, and that's where we've got Efo's bow from. Um, I'm sure you must have heard of e okay. before. I really enjoy watching his channel. It's very cool. So we wanted some cobblestone and some white stained clay. Um, if you can't tell, I'm, it's going to look terrible. Terrible. But I wanted to frame, I think that might be a little bit too pink. Hard to really tell at night. Uh, doesn't look great. Let's try on the other side. I mean, just floating in the middle is probably not going to look too good either. I'd love someone to comment and tell me which one they'd prefer. I mean, none of these blocks will break or... oh Jesus that picks too good. None of these blocks will break or disappear if I mine them out. But as uh, a warden, I don't know. I mean, the white and cobblestone pops. We've got any smooth stone on us. <coughs> Ooh, enchanted chest, thank you. Protection 2. Oh, I haven't even got a chest on. No wonder the monsters were kicking my butt. I did wonder, but I didn't check. Ah, by the way, I tried to make a diamond helmet. I enchanted it with protection 3. Level 30 enchant. All I wanted was aqua affinity or respiration or something. But it didn't want to give it to me. But I think I'm going to have fun with this build. Uh, I like to build houses. But as I've said before, I don't like to build the outside completely first. But the entrance, the entrance is fine. I, I like to build the entrance so that I know where I'm going to position other things relative to it. And I forgot I got the smooth stone out so that I could try it against either of them. But I've only got three. Let's get a few more. Put some in the furnace in our dirt hole so we don't have to worry about running out. Let's get rid of these ones first. I think I'm going to need a new pick soon. This one is running low of durability. That don't look too bad to be honest, I think. How's it look with the quartz? I mean, quartz is quite an expensive building material, but it's just a trip to the never, really. I 
think I'm liking the quartz and smooth stone rather than the quartz and cobble, that's for sure. That is for sure. Um, we might be able to add some textures with the, the quartz. They both look okay. They both look okay. Neither of them looks too bad, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of wood to distract distract the eye. So let's try and remove a little bit by adding these in here. Just around the door. I mean, you know, we'd probably have a window in there anyway. I don't know, maybe just uh what we have here, never brick. We don't got any dark oak. Because I do like the smooth stone and the spruce look. I've got some spruce. I don't know about as a framing material. But I think that they look beautiful together. As an accent for the the stone, I hate you. Uh. Let's try it with some dark oak. Have I not got any dark oak here? Let's put all these blocks away. Could have used the stairs and just gone round the back, but we're going to need some anyway. <coughs> Could have left that there as a reference. I think that looks just as good. Just as good as the spruce wood, for sure. Even though this is a really dark wood, I've been using it quite a lot. The problem is it's so easy to get. Once you've got four saplings, you're away. You've, you know... You can grow these things all in a line and you just end up with one big chunk of wood just to chop through. Makes gathering wood simple. I mean sometimes you get the normal oak trees and they got the horrible branches all hiding. You think you've chopped it all down and you come back and there's still just one little bit in there that really gets me. But none of that with uh none of that with the dark oak trees. They do have branches, but they're kind of that big trunk branch rather than than a small one block hidey in leaf trunks. So guys, I think I'm going to call this an episode. I will join a, a path up to here. I'm going to clear out all of these things which I've made here, the cow farm, reed farm, wheat farm, everything. The map I don't want to get rid of, but it looks kind of crappy just on just on there. So I want to add a nice border and some kind of protection because I'm scared that a creeper will sneak up on me and blow it up. Or maybe I'll just copy them. I should really copy them. But that will be the beginning of our house. I'm not sure, again, if I want to put some, uh, get in the right place, please. <laughs> How about putting it in the right place then? There you go. To add kind of legs to the... What do we call this? The little decking area. And if I do that, I will then, underneath the front, just add some cobble all the way down so that when you look from the front you'll be able to see the foundation stones there and of course it'll only be one block high so hopefully mobs won't spawn under there I don't know if spiders can spawn in one high I don't think they can but little zomblings Tiny little baby ones can hide under there for sure. 
whether they can spawn there again I don't know I'm sure I'm sure it looks for the airspace above I don't know well, if you know let me know comment um thanks for watching guys if you liked it please leave me a like subscribe and I'll see you in another life take care